Some kids get everything handed to them, but others have to work for their money. Hard work pays off. And these incredibly wealthy teenagers have proven that you can become fabulously rich at any age. Earning a million dollars by age 15 may be tough, but it can be done. These teens earned more than just an allowance for taking out the trash. Some of these teens invested wisely, while others came up with world-changing companies and reaped the rewards. Here's a look at kids who are richer than you'll ever be. If only you or I had come up with these ideas. 15-year-old Michaela Ulmer isn't just earning mountains of money, she's also saving the world. The teen entrepreneur is the CEO of Me and the Bees Lemonade, and business is booming. She had a eureka moment when she was stung by a bee when she was just four years old. She was not only stung once, but twice. It must have been fate, because it gave her a brilliant idea. She started a lemonade business and turned her sour lemonade sweet by adding locally sourced honey. She also wanted to make a difference, so she decided to donate 10% of her profits to fund bee conservation, a practice that she still continues to this day. It wasn't a lot when she started, but today Me and the Bees Lemonade is huge. She appeared on Shark Tank in 2015 and garnered a $60,000 deal. Later that year, she signed an $11 million deal with Whole Foods to have the upscale grocer carry her sweet and delicious lemonade. Apparently, even Obama is a fan of her lemonade. Michaela went from earning nickels and dimes running a lemonade stand to multi-millionaire thanks to her business acumen. When Isabel and Caroline Burkhoff started making bath bombs when they were 10 and 11 years old, they probably didn't expect to be multi-millionaires by the time they turned 18. Their bath bombs fizzled, but the business certainly didn't. Isabel, who is now 18, and Caroline, who is now 19, run the incredibly successful company De Bomb Bath Fizzers. They went from selling the colorful and fragrant bath bombs at fairs in Minnesota to having their products sold in Target, CVS, Kohl's, and Costco. The sisters went from making a few bucks to raking in millions. De Bath Bomb Fizzers has had sales exceeding $20 million every year since 2018. Despite how successful their business has become, they haven't lost sight of what's important, family. They run the highly successful business with their parents, and now their 13-year-old brother is joining the team too. 17-year-old Avi Schiffman created a website that is incredibly useful in this day and age. He developed the world's most concise COVID-19 tracking website, and the offers to buy the site came rolling in. Schiffman was reportedly offered $8 million to put ads on the website, but he refused. Schiffman didn't develop the website to make money. He has way more integrity than that. His eventual goal is to make this kind of information <laughs> readily available. He wants the World Health Organization to adopt a tracking tool like the one on his website. Schiffman's website has garnered a lot of praise. Even doctors and epidemiologists are using the data to track the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Fauci has praised Schiffman's website and called it essential. Schiffman may have turned down money, but he did take home an award. The brilliant teenager took home the Webby Person of the Year Award and we expect many more accolades in his future. Schiffman recently created another tracking website. This one tracks protests and demonstrations throughout the US. Mosiah Bridges knows two things, how to make money and how to look stylish. The 18-year-old is CEO of Moe's Bows, a bow tie company he started with his mother when he was just nine years old. His knack for fashion allowed him to create hip bow ties that set the fashion world on fire. Before long, he was giving fashion advice to Steve Harvey and Barack Obama. The enterprising youth appeared on Shark Tank and impressed FUBU founder Damon John so much that he advised Mosiah to decline Kevin O'Leary's 20% stake offer. Damon wanted to take Mosiah on as a protege instead, and the pair still collaborate to this day. Mosiah has dreams of being a fashion mogul, and so far, he's well on his way to achieving that dream. He is estimated to have a net worth between $1 million and $5 million, and in 2017, he signed a lucrative seven-figure deal with the NBA to produce bow ties featuring all 30 NBA teams. I have to get me one of those Raptors bow ties. Can you picture LeBron or Kawhi wearing one of Mo's stylish bow ties? To call Jalen Bledsoe a tech prodigy would be an understatement. The now 22-year-old spent his teens innovating and earning millions. He taught himself how to code when he was just 11, and at age 12, he used his newly learned skills to found an IT consulting firm. By 17, he was CEO of the Jalen D. Bledsoe Global Group, and the company was worth over $3.5 million. Things didn't end there. Bledsoe kept founding new companies. He founded the Flair Digital Agency in 2015. 
Today, the company helps Fortune 500 companies and celebrities grow brand recognition and expand their business. The company has reportedly generated more than $175 million in revenue, and Bledsoe has huge clients like Ford Motor Company and AT&T. Today, he is inspiring the next generation of teen entrepreneurs and teaching students about technology and business. Sneakers are a big business, and Benjamin Kicks recognized that at a very young age. Benjamin became a bona fide sneakerhead when he was 13, and by 15, he was flipping valuable sneakers like crazy. Before long, he was selling the hottest kicks to superstars like Drake and DJ Khaled. The 21-year-old is still making big bucks flipping exclusive kicks, and as a bonus, he gets to hang out with today's biggest rappers. A quick look at his Instagram, and you'll see Kicks hanging out with the likes of Post Malone and Lil Pump. Today, Kicks is worth over $2 million. That kind of money will buy a lot of Jordans. Eric Finman made a deal with his parents. If he could become a millionaire by the time he was 18, he wouldn't have to go to college. His parents thought that they had won the bet for sure, but Finman's wise investment decisions turned him fabulously wealthy in no time at all. Finman got in on the Bitcoin craze at the perfect time. In 2011, when Finman was just 12 years old, he bought $1,000 worth of Bitcoin. He was buying Bitcoin every day after school when the price for one Bitcoin was only $10. Today, Finman has over 450 Bitcoin and is believed to be worth over $4.5 million. He sold some of his Bitcoin to fund a business that teaches people about Bitcoin. And he also started a company called Botangle that connects students to tutors. The venture was successful, and when he sold the company, he was offered cash or Bitcoin. Guess which one he took? Alina Morse got the idea for her candy business when she was just seven years old. She got the idea when she was given a lollipop when she was at the bank with her dad. Her dad didn't want the sugar to rot her teeth, but Alina didn't want to miss out on a tasty treat. Most kids would just throw a tantrum, but Alina is different. Instead, she begged her dad to help her create a sugar-free lollipop. Today, the 15-year-old runs the incredibly successful Zolly Pops. The company, which Alina founded in 2015, has sold over $2 million worth of sugar-free lollipops since its inception. Zolly Pops also produces taffy and other types of sugar-free candy. The candy is made with an artificial sweetener called xylitol, which is calorie-free and much healthier than sugar. Zolly Pops has sold more than $5 million worth of candy to date. Now, when Alina goes to the bank, she gets to enjoy a sugar-free sweet treat and piles of cash. 21-year-old Australian tech entrepreneur Ben Pasternak spent his teenage years inventing, creating, and earning boatloads of cash. Today, he's worth about $2.5 million, and there's no doubt that his net worth will continue to climb as he keeps thinking of ingenious ideas. Silicon Valley has tried to recruit Pasternak, but he wants to forge his own path. He turned down internships at both Facebook and Google. If Pasternak is worth more than Mark Zuckerberg one day, we wouldn't be surprised. At 15, he invented a brain teaser app called Impossible Rush that was so popular, it briefly overtook Tinder and Twitter on the App Store. When he turned 16, he developed another app called Flog, which is a social networking app that allows users to buy and sell products. You can swipe left and right on what you want to buy. It's sort of like Tinder, but for shopping. Once again, the app hit number one. In 2016, he developed a video chat monkey. It was another number one hit, and Pasternak secured $2 million in funding. He sold the app to Hala for a pricey sum. If you thought Pasternak would just take the money and retire, you'd be wrong. Now he's working on something even more incredible, and it might just change the world. In 2018, he founded Nugs, a company that manufactures plant-based chicken nuggets. The simulated meat is said to replicate both the texture and taste of real chicken nuggets almost perfectly. Might this be a new McDonald's menu item in the future? Taylor Rosenthal knows he has a gold mine on his hands, and that's why he has turned down multiple offers to sell his company. The 18-year-old founded a company called RecMed when he was just 14. And it's quite possible RecMed will be a household name one day in the future. RecMed holds the patent for computerized vending machines that dispense first aid kits and medical supplies. How many times have you been in quick need of a bandage and haven't been able to find one? Rosenthal wants to see RecMed vending machines everywhere from amusement parks to sports stadiums. The savvy young entrepreneur even turned down a $30 million offer to buy this company. And he said that he won't sell the company for anything less than $50 million. Frankly, $50 million might be a steal for RecMed, and it's quite possible the company could be worth much more in the future. When Rosenthal sells the company, he plans to save most of his massive payday, but he said he might just splurge on a brand new Bentley. 
That's it, folks. Are you impressed by the brilliant ideas of these wealthy teen entrepreneurs? Don't you wish you'd come up with a brilliant money-making idea? Do you think these rich teens will continue to excel in business? Could one of these teens be a billionaire in the making? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to this channel for more great videos.